Hello everyone, I welcome you all in the fifth lecture in the series of Profit, Loss and Discount. So today I am going to start with one new type, type 3, problems based on weighted average concept. I will discuss three variations where every time there is something new to learn. So try to watch the session carefully until the end. Let us start. So let us begin with the new type, type 3, problems based on weighted average. I understand most of you are confused sir what weighted average is, don't worry we will discuss this thing in detail when we discuss the topic averages but for now I will just discuss the part which is important for solving the question based on this type alright. Uh, but before that let us read the question. I purchased 40 pence of equal value from the market, sold some of them at 8% profit, the remaining at 12% loss resulting in an overall profit of 5%. Find the number of pence sold at 8% profit. So first let me explain what the data is uh, given here. I purchased 40 pence. Out of 40 pence, some pence are sold at 8% profit. Now I am not aware how many out of 40. Let us assume that as x. So I am assuming that x number of pence are sold at 8% profit. So I have sold these many pence at 8% profit. Since I have sold them at a profit, that is why I am using a positive sign. And then the remaining. So tell me one thing, if out of 40, x pens are sold, how many are left? You would say, sir, just remove these x number of pens from 40, these are the remaining pens. And it is given in the data that I have sold these remaining pens at a loss of 12%. To represent loss, I have used a negative sign, resulting in an overall profit of 5%. Now, this term is very important. Guys, whenever you find word like overall, overall means mereko overall quantity mein kitna profit ya loss hua. Overall quantity tha kitna? 40 tha. So overall quantity pe humko kitne ka profit hua? It is given this person has made a profit of 5% in the overall quantity, 40 pence. So you have to just write down this complete thing in a mathematical form, in one line expression. Let me show you how you can do it. So there were 40 pence out of 40 x number of pens are sold at 8% profit and then the remaining remaining were 40 minus x these 40 minus x pens were sold at a loss to show loss i have to use a negative sign so please be very careful and eventually i get to know okay in overall quantity i had made a profit of 5% since it's a profit let me use a positive sign okay let me do one more thing let me use positive sign here as well because while I sold these x number of pins, here also I had made a profit. To show profit, let me use positive sign. And for loss, I will be using a negative sign. Okay. Now, what I want you to look at, if you look at this expression carefully, there are total three terms. First term, second term, and the third term. In all the three terms, there is one thing common. Can anyone indicate what is common here? You would say, sir, the percentage sign in common in each and every term. So, what I can do, I can simply remove the percentage sign. Now, if I remove the percentage sign, the same thing can be written as 40 into 5 x into 8 plus 40 minus x multiplied with minus 12 because it was a loss. And now please solve. This is very easy to calculate. So, 40 into 5 is 200. 8 into x is 8x. Now, if you multiply this minus 12 with 40, you will get a negative resultant. So, you will get minus 480. And then minus 12 into minus x will give you plus 12x. Let's take values to one side. So what I'll do, I'll take this minus 480 to the other side. All right. So 200 was already there. And now I have 480 as well here. So 8x plus 12x would be 20x. Now this is 680. Just try to find out the value of x. You would say, sir, the value of x is 680 divided by 20. Simplify, you will get the value of x as 34. So, how many pens were sold at 8% profit? You would say, sir, x number of pens. What is the value of x? 34. So, in the same question, had they asked you, how many pens were sold at 12% loss? What you would have done? You would have simply subtracted the value of x from 40, right? You are already aware that how many pens are sold at 8% profit. You would say, sir, I'll just, uh, just remove these 34 from 40. And this will give me the answer as 6. So had they asked you how many pens were sold at 12% loss, you would have calculated the answer of the same in a very similar fashion. Right. Now I believe some of you must be thinking, sir, where is weighted average here? So if you look at this expression carefully, this expression represents the concept of weighted average. 
Let me show you how. So if you look at this 5% profit, 8% profit and 12% loss, you will realize that this 8% profit has been made over X number of articles. While 12% loss has been made over 40 minus X. So can you realize that the quantities are different? So these quantities are nothing but the values of weights. Let me call them W1 and W2. And when you add the two weights, the two quantities, remember X plus 40 minus X, I have divided 40 into unequal parts. X number of pins and then 40 minus X. So when I add, I'll get the whole quantity. Let me call it as W. So I've divided this whole weight W into unequal parts where X number of pins are sold at 8% profit and the remaining part is sold at 12% loss resulting in an overall profit of 5%. Now focus here, look at this 5% profit, 8% profit and 12% loss. What are these values in this expression? These are the values of averages. Let me call this as A, the overall average, A1, average associated with weight 1, A2, average associated with weight 2. So this signifies the concept of weighted average. You don't need to get into what actually weighted average is, at least for now. So just understand how to write down this expression, right? That is all required and then we are good to go. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's discuss one more question and I hope after this you will get more comfortable into this. So let's read the question once. I purchased 50x from the market. 15 of them broke on the way, means they are destroyed and therefore the remaining x were sold at 40% profit. So what is given here? There were 50x. Out of 50, 15 eggs were destroyed, completely destroyed. And therefore, he decided why not to sell the remaining eggs at a profit of 40%. And in the question, they had asked us to calculate overall profit or loss. Remember, I told you that we calculate overall profit or loss over this value, right? So let me assume this as x percent. Since I'm not aware whether it's going to be a profit or loss. So I have assumed this as simply X percent. Okay. Now, what is the next step? The next step, you have to just write down this complete thing in a mathematical form. So we'll start with 50 because there were total 50 X. Out of 50, 15 X were destroyed. And then the remaining X were sold at how much percent profit? You would say, sir, 40 percent profit. So simply write down 40 percent with a positive sign. And in the question, they had asked us to calculate ki overall me, overall me, mujhe kitna profit ya loss hua. So, maine isko x percent assume kiya hua hai. Now, the important question is where many of the students make mistake. They tend to think, ki, sir, shall I write zero here? Because these 15x were destroyed. Or agar 15x destroy ho gaye hain, to iska matlab mujhe ek rupiya bhi nahi milega. I'll get zero rupees. So with this logic, they say, sir, let me write down zero here. But guys, you need to be very careful here. If you look at this, we are writing percentage values. We are writing profit or loss in the terms of percentage. And therefore, if you say 0%, 0% signifies no profit, no loss. But in actuality, he was not able to get anything out of 15x. So it's a complete loss. So to show loss, I have to use 100% with a negative sign. Let me explain it to you, what I'm trying to tell you here. If I tell you that the cost price of these 15x, the 15x which were destroyed, is 15 only. So I'm assuming uh, cost price of one egg is 1 rupees. I know it's not realistic, but it's a hypothetical condition. If cost price of one egg is rupees 1, so for 15x, this person must have paid rupees 15. Now if I ask you, what is he getting in return? Agar 15x destroy ho gaye, so, not getting anything out of it. So, can I say that he is getting 0 rupees against rupees 15? Or, if you this transaction, ko se dekhoge, you would realize that, okay, here he is making a loss of 15. Since he is making a loss, let's try to calculate loss percent. A loss of 15 over 15. And then to convert, you will multiply this thing by 100. And then you would realize, okay, if something is destroyed, loss has to be represented with 100%, with a negative sign. Okay? So what is the learning? The learning is in these 15x, since it's a loss, complete loss, so I'll represent this with minus 100. So instead of 0, I'll write minus 100%. And now this whole equation is correct. Again, if you look at this 
expression carefully there are three terms one two and three and all the three terms you would realize okay percentage sign is common percentage sign is common so can i remove this percentage sign so let me remove percentage sign from each and every term and why i'm doing so just make my calculation easy that's all what is 50 into x you would say 50 into x is 50x this would be minus 1500 and then what is 35 into 40 35 into 40 is 1400 right okay so minus 1500 plus 1400 is minus 100 and when you try to find out the value of x what will you do you will take this plus 50 to the other side if you take this 50 to the other side it will come in denominator and from here you will get to know okay the value of x is minus 2 since i'm getting the value of x with a negative sign it means i have made a loss isn't it a loss of 2% in the overall quantity means in 50x i have made a loss of 2% so try to understand why this person has turned up making a loss of 2%. You would say, sir, he has sold 35x in 40% profit. Usne 35x ko 40% profit mein becha tha. Lekin usne baavjood, usko loss kyu hua? Usko loss isi liye hua kyunki 50 mein se jo 15x the, usme usko 100% loss hua. Usne compensate karne ki koshish kari. Aur kaise usne compensate karne ki koshish kari? Usne remaining x ko 40% profit mein becha. लेकिन वो तब भी इस 100% लॉस को कहां तक लेके आ पाया 2% लॉस तक सो दिस इज व्हाट द क्वेश्चन इज ऑल अबाउट सो गाइस इफ आई टेल यू द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन दिस क्वेश्चन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट समथिंग व्हिच दे हैड आस्क्ड मल्टीपल टाइम्स सो यू कैन नॉट मिस आउट ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन आई होप यू वर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड एवरीथिंग इट्स टाइम टू डिस्कस वन मोर क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन द सेम टाइप नाउ रीड दिस क्वेश्चन आई परचेस्ड सम गुड्स फॉर रुपीस 1500 sold one third of this at a profit of 20% and the remaining at a loss of 10%. What is my overall profit or loss percent? So guys, you know what happens? Whenever a student look at this question, what they tend to think, okay, I think I have to use this value 1500. But what if I tell you this 15 is irrelevant in this question? If you try solving this question using the concept of weighted average, it can be solved just in two, three lines. Let me show you how. But for that, you need to understand something. Since they have given us the value of quantity in fraction form, he sold one third of this at a profit of 20% and then the remaining at a loss of 10%. So when it comes to writing the quantity, I'm going to represent quantity with the fractional form. So let me assume the total quantity as one. He purchased one unit of good for Rs. 1500. Sold one third of it. If I ask you, what is one third of one? You would say, sir, one by three of one would be one by three only. And then the remaining. Now tell me what would be the value of remaining. You would say sir in order to find out the value of remaining. I am going to subtract this 1 by 3. From the total 1. And this in turn will give you the value of remaining. Remaining is 2 by 3. So total was 1 unit. Out of 1 unit. 1 third is sold at a profit. A profit of 20%. And then the remaining is sold at a loss of 10%. I have to find overall profit or loss percent. It's a simple thing. We'll just write down this thing in one line. Total is one unit. Sold one third and then the remaining. Okay. One third at a profit of 20%. Two third at a loss of 10%. So what will be my overall profit or loss percent? Again, guys, look at the same thing. If you find the number of terms here, there are total three terms. Out of these three terms, you would realize that something is common here. What is common? The percentage sign is common in each and every term. Something which I can remove to make my calculation easy. So let's remove this percent. So x equals to 20 by 3 minus 20 by 3. The moment you look at this, you would say so 20 by 3 minus 20 by 3 is 0. I'm getting the value of x as 0. x 0 means, remember I told you, no profit no loss clear so you are going to mark an option as your answer which says no profit no loss so this was the last question which i wanted to discuss and i hope now you are able to understand how to tackle questions based on type 3 so let's close the session here only and in the next lecture i'll discuss one more important type that is problem based on dishonest dealer if you have enjoyed the session share it among your friends and please do not forget to like and subscribe thank you and have a nice day